Hey there, everyone. Today, I'm hoping to redeem myself with another frying pan review. I hope this one today is successful. We'll find out. Hey, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You, and my channel is dedicated to reviewing as seen on TV items, consumer gadgets, other household goods, and you know what? Once in a while, I do a little bit of DIY stuff just because I like to. If that's something that interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and checking the bell right next to it so you're notified every single time I release a video just like this one. Today, we're looking at the Copper Chef Black Diamond Frying Pan. Let's take a closer look. So this is probably going to be one of the easiest unboxings that I've done. All it is is wrapped in this simple cardboard directions. Um, the Black Diamond Frying Pan by Copper Chef can be purchased at Walmart for about $19.99. I believe they have a website too um, where you can buy multiple sets because this comes as a larger package if you want. Or if you're just looking at the individual frying pan, that's where I purchase at Walmart um, for just about $20. Bucks. Let's see, can you get a look at this? Inside here, it's, it has all these crystal-like things. And they say these are diamond um, dust or diamond crystals that are all throughout the frying pan. Plus, there's this diamond pattern. It's actually pretty cool, the pattern on the inside. And that's meant to, I guess, trap fat away or help have air get underneath. Um, so I'm really excited to try it. You know what's cool? My frying pan that I use every single day is actually a Copper Chef frying pan. I've had this thing for years um, much before I even started doing Asian on TV products. But look at this. It's very, very similar. This is the original one that I use all the time, and this is the new one. The only difference I see is, one, this one has like a diamond pattern in the middle, and it's got, of course, the diamonds and the color is a little darker. Um, not too long ago, I did a review of the blue diamond frying pan, and unfortunately, I don't have that anymore because I hit it with a sledgehammer because the infomercial told me I could and it'd be okay. So since I ruined it, I ended up throwing it away. But if you wanna see that review video, I'll link it right up here for you to check out. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do two different things, well maybe three different things. I'm gonna try the fried egg test because every other nonstick pan that I've used for me has not worked. Now, the directions here say you're supposed to use low to medium heat. So I'm gonna wait for that pan to come up to temperature and it does have the induction plate on the bottom, so it makes it for quicker heating. Um, so I'm gonna wait for that pan to come up to temperature, and I'm gonna put my fried egg in, and I wanna see it move around on air, just like in the infomercial. I really hope it works out. Um, so let's get to that test right now. First, I'm going to wash this um, with warm soapy water, and then I'll check it out. Okay, so I have the Black Diamond Pan by Copper Chef on, on my stove top here. I have it on low heat. So my, my oven goes, or my stove goes from low, two, three, four, five, six. I actually have it on two. So it says low to medium. Right now the temperature of the pan is around 290 degrees. We can do the sizzle test by sprinkling some water and see when those that water starts bouncing, we know it's ready. Um, so we're gonna drop an egg that I cracked here right into it and let's see what happens. All right, so we're gonna let this cook to see. I know because the temperature is a little cooler, um, it's gonna take a little longer to cook, but my goal is to see if this is really a non-stick and I can slide that around. So I'm using a plastic spatula because they say um, that's what you should use, not nothing that could cause it to scratch or to scrape. All right, so now it's officially on two. I can see that it's turning white here around. I'm gonna let it wait for a little while because I really wanna make sure I can put this to a good test to see if it will not be, or it won't stick. Now, they do recommend in the directions for taste to use butter or oil, but they said you don't need it. Now I know 99% of us will cook with butter and oil. I just want to see if this is truly a non-stick pan. That's a little warm. Be careful with the handle. The handle's reading at 90 degrees, so be careful with that.
I'll put my handy up glove on. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to move this yet. Nope, not yet, but my yoke did break. Let's give it a little help and see what I got here. I mean, it looks like I can actually get underneath it. I mean, it looks like it's non-stick. Let's see. Oh, there we go. It moved a little. Now I will give it credit, it technically didn't stick, right? So I didn't have to scrape anything up, um, but it also didn't glide around like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna finish cooking up this egg, and then I wanted to show you something cool. After I finished cooking, or started was finishing cooking, I started doing this, and it actually started sliding around. Now my egg doesn't look that great, but it is doing the non-stick slide, which I thought was pretty cool, and I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so we just did the egg test, and I thought, oh no, at first it wasn't going to work, but it ended up coming out successful, and you know what, the egg didn't taste that bad. Uh, yep, I would probably cook with oil or butter, and it would even be, be even better, but the non-stick feature worked. Now, my second thing I'm going to try is I'm going to cook some salmon, just like they did on the infomercial. Let's take a look. And I have cut a piece of salmon in half, so I can do one will be skin side down and one will be skin side up. The infomercial tells me that this will not stick. Now I've not used any oil or butter. So I've been cooking this now for two minutes on the same sides I dropped them in on and I wanted to show you something real quick with these tongs. Let's see if it gets stuck. Look at how easy it is to move this one across. No sticking or anything. Well, now let's try the skin side down. Same exact movement. I'm pretty impressed with the non-stick part with this salmon. I'll bring you back in a few minutes when I flip them over. We'll see how it looks. Okay, so it's time to flip the salmon. Now, what I like about this frying pan is I can sear it on both sides just like I'm doing, and then I can finish it off in the oven. So I'll put my oven at about 300 degrees, and I can put this whole thing in the oven um, and let it cook throughout. This pan itself can last into an oven about 850 degrees, which is just ridiculously high. Um, they do recommend, however, do not touch this handle um, as it gets hot. Right now it's just on the frying pan. I mean, sorry, it's on the burner. And it's, I mean, it says towards the end there, it's about, you see that, 89 degrees. So I would use something. Now, it didn't feel that hot to me, but that's just what the heat temperature gun is reading. So just be careful with that. I'm going to finish these up. We'll do one more test, and I'll give you my final review. It's time to pull the salmon out of the oven. Remember your hot pad. All right, here it goes. Looks pretty good. Wow, wasn't that pretty impressive? That salmon looked, and for my opinion, tasted amazing. Seared on the stovetop, put in the oven, cooked to perfection. The black diamond copper chef pan did a great job. Non-stick, skin down, skin up, it didn't matter. I'm really impressed. Um, now I'm going to wash it in the dishwasher, and once I'm done in the dishwasher, I'm going to show you how to re-season the pan for cooking. Let's do that now. So now we're going to talk about seasoning the pan and what you do. Um, now they recommend season the pan after you've used it for a while. Maybe this non-stick finish is wiped off, or you've just ran it in the dishwasher or washed it. So what you do is you take just regular vegetable oil, you put some on a paper towel, you wipe it onto the pan all over and then you sit it on low heat for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now it does say if it starts to smoke, you immediately take it off and set it aside. 
let it cool, and then take another clean towel and just wipe off the inside and you are set to go. You can put it away, you can use it, but that's how you season it to protect the non-stick coating. Now, let's get to my final review. So today we were talking about the 10 inch frying pan by Copper Chef. It's actually called the Copper Chef Black Diamond. That's because of the color in here, the diamond shape, and plus the diamond crystals that are supposedly infused within the pan itself. Um, this, like I said earlier, was purchased from Walmart for $19.99. There are other retailers you can get it from, and even there's an online distributor where you can buy this um, thing for the Copper Chef. Now, what I like about this pan is it's supposed to be durable and strong, and they said that's because of the diamond crystals, so it's stronger than other pans that it won't scratch or chip or whatever, and there is a warranty under normal use. Now, that being said, they said don't cut on it. Don't use a metal spatula. Use plastic or silicone um, just so you're not putting anything rough against this. They even recommend when you put it in the dishwasher to not put it near something else where it will chip. So you do have to take some care of this. Now, it is dishwasher safe, but do not use any kind of lemon scented or lemon added detergents. I don't know what it does, but it said it a number of times in the direction. Stay away from that non-lemon. Um, also, if you do decide to wash it in the dishwasher, you should re-season it afterward, and I already showed you how to do that. Um, Re-seasoning after, after it stops being um, non-stick or if you wash it a number of times. I like that this could go in the oven up to 850 degrees. Now, my oven doesn't go up that high, um, but I like that it can go in there under high heat. Now, be very careful about this handle as even on the stove, it gets a little warm. I use the oven glove to help me, but in the oven, it gets really, really hot. I will say in the directions, it said if you have an, a, a gas flame like I do is for my, uh, my stove top, um, the heat might be too hot even on the lower setting. So that may be why my egg was cooking the way it was because I use a gas flame. And so be careful. You might have to have some trial and error and adjust it might be necessary. Um, if you recall about a year ago, Copper Shaft released their diamond series. And so it looked just like this, except it wasn't this blackish blue color in the middle. And this is just the 2019 upgrade that you can find at your As Seen On TV retailer. I think I redeemed myself with this video. I got the egg to work. I got the salmon to work, and it was great. I really like the way this turned out. It's even seasoned for next use. Oh, I will say this. After you use it, you make your eggs, you make your salmon, they recommend just taking a paper towel and wiping it clean, and then you're done. You don't even need to soap and water. I know that might be difficult for some because it's sure difficult for me, um, but that's something they say you can do. Just wipe it out and keep using it or store it for next. Anyway, this was Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have a great day. Since you're still there, would you do me a favor and check out my video review of the Of Glove versus the Hot Hands. Remember, this made its appearance in today's video. Um, so I'm just gonna link it right up here. I will see you over here at this video. Go ahead, click it, make sure you're logged in.